Summerland 2022, it's going down. A uh, massive area clear. You can see the photos, like I said, on the Coastal Club Denmark Facebook post. Uh, the page Coastal Club Denmark is linked in the description. Check out the clearance videos, uh, uh, images for yourself to see how big the site is. My God, it's a big site. Uh, massive cleared site. Not too sure exactly where in the park it is, because of course I just saw the photos. But um, if anyone can pinpoint the location specifically, then comment down below. Uh, but they're going to be clearing this massive site, what looks like for a 2022 roller coaster. And I, in my opinion, this could be brilliant. I think this could be brilliant anyway. It's all about predicting in this video. What am I sort of predicting from this? I think there's a few things we could look at with this in terms of what type of roller coaster. Um, obviously, Farouk Summerland is a very specific park. Uh, they've worked with uh, just a number of manufacturers. Um, of course, Orkanen is a Vacoma coaster uh, down there. And, you know, I think that, that is a, a, that's a wonderful manufacturer to work with, Vacoma. And that is, to be fair, one of the rumours coming across on many different forums. Many different forums have said that maybe it's a two-for-one deal for Vacoma again. And there's, there's past evidence of two-for-one deals with Vacoma. You look at Fantasialand with Rake and Taran. You look at uh, Tripstrill and Tato Park with the Vacoma suspended family uh, thrill coaster and the family boomerang. So maybe they're going to go with the suspended thrill coaster and the family boomerang connection, uh, like Tripstrill's done with Helzubakov and Voldamp. But also Tato Park are going to do in 2022, 2023 uh, with their new coasters. So, you know, there's real potential here for Farrakh Summerland to uh, invest in that sort of two for one deal. Uh, another one that could go for is like the, an Abyssus type roller coaster and a Jolandia, like a Vacoma Shockwave coaster. Um, you know, it should be interesting to see if they go with that kind of style. I think it'd be nice to see that kind of style with the park. And I think that, you know, it's, it's a great thrill coaster. And I think if they add this to the park, it would be a wonderful signature coaster for the theme park. Um, in terms of other manufacturers, I'd like to see Intamin on this. It'd be nice to see something like a Taran type coaster. Uh, in the park for the thrill market. Uh, very, very unlikely though because of the budget. But um, I think that we're looking probably, I think in terms of budget, I would predict no less than 10 million euros. No less than that. Uh, sorry, no more than that. And, you know, I think 10 million, um, uh, up to 10 million euros is a, is a decent budget to be fair for the park. So if they go over that, then fair play. But I predict it's going to be no more than 10 million euros. Um, so it should be interesting to see what they go with. Obviously, there is a few different options. You could go with a Vacoma, you could go with an Intamin, get in touch with SNS. You know, I think I think SNS. You know, I think I think someone from SNS in that interview did say uh, that the best years could be twenty twenty three and twenty twenty four. So SNS probably could be ruled out the equation on this one. Uh, Gus Lauer could be involved. You never know. Uh, they might get B and M. You never know. Um, RMC, I mean, is that a possibility? The first Raptor coaster in Europe, the first single rail in Europe, maybe, I don't know. Uh, it's a big site, so uh, it'd have to take a lot to, to be the big RMC in Europe. But to be fair, the Raptors aren't that expensive at all, because I think Railblaze is only a few million US dollars in California's Great America. So, um, it should be interesting to see what they go for in terms of the budget of this ride, uh, as well. Now, the theme and the story of this ride, obviously, Farouk Summerland has some interesting names and some interesting stories behind the coasters um, and the other rides as well. But it should be interesting to see what kind of things they go for in terms of theme-wise, story-wise. I mean, are we expecting a lot of theming with this? Probably, sometimes, maybe not. But I think it could still be a wonderful coaster. And I think that um you know they could still thematize it really well and develop the story of the ride develop it into the layout and make the layout not just some original coaster layout make the layout feel like you're going through the story like the twists and turns represent the twists and turns in the story of the theme of the ride so thanks to vacoma's instagram groundwork has started and is already speeding up rapidly on our new secret big project for next year opening we are very excited and we'll announce more details in the near future. Now, you might not be able to see what's on that poll. It says Land Inspector Nord. Land Inspector Nord. Uh, since the text on the poll refers to a Danish company in northern Jutland. And they, it's believed that they can, we can deduct that Farup Sumbland is getting a brand new roller coaster from Bacoma. 
So, there has been rumours, there has been rumours whispering about a Lek Coaster clone uh, to a Danish park. There's, it, that's not confirmed, that's just whispers from uh, fan sources. Now, obviously we can't confirm or deny that, however, it would be very interesting if it is. Um, so, I mean, it would be interesting, however, I think this could be an amazing, amazing, amazing project uh, with this confirmed news. And I think that this is only going to get bigger and better from here. I think it's just going to get even better, and I really, really can't wait. So there we are, ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Seeks of All Ages. That is talking about Faroop Summerland. Now, of course, we can't confirm or deny uh, that it is going to be a clone of the Lek Coaster uh, from the Zendia in Poland. Of course, the v Vekoma Bermuda Blitz Coaster. Um, obviously, you know, as reported by the Coaster Force Forum, there are whispers um, from um, fan sources that uh, it could be a Lek Coaster clone sold to a Danish park. Whether that is the Faroop Summerland or not, we don't know. I would like to see what Energylandia didn't go with for their hypercoaster. I'd like to see uh, maybe for up some line go for the Vokoma hypercoaster. And I know that's what some fans have said. Um, but I think overall it's a massive site and I think that it would fit the site perfectly either one. I think that um, you know, whatever this is going to be, I think this is going to be a huge project for Fire Up Summerland. And I think that, you know, hopefully the stylization and the theming of this will be spot on. I think with it being a big site. Um, so, I mean, would I like, if, if it is a Lek Coaster clone, if it's a clone of Lek Coaster, the Bermuda Blitz, um, would I be happy with that? 100%. I think that that's a perfect fit for Fire Up Summerland. It's family thrill. It's not too over the edge. It's not like the massive B&M's loopers. Um, you know, I think it's just the right level of thrill for Farrup Summerland. I think that it would be the signature ride in the park, or one of the signature rides in the park. And I think that overall, I think I I'd be really happy with this. I really, really would. So, I think that overall it's a great fit. I think that overall it's a great move for the park, if it is a let coaster or if it is, you know, the Coma Hyper. Either way, I think it we can put two and two together here and confirm that Farrup Summerland is getting a Vacoma roller coaster for next season. So in a public document, it is confirmed Woodland will be the name of Farup Summerland's brand new roller coaster with a height of 37 meters. Now to put that in perspective of feet in terms of uh, how tall it is in feet, uh, 37 meters equals 121.4 uh, feet. I mean seriously, this is going to be a wonderful addition to the park. Now, obviously, looking at the height measurement, you have to look at uh, what was a previous rumour, and that was the fact that a Let Coaster clone could be coming to the park. Now, obviously, I said the height was, um, you know, around the 121.4 feet, so I don't think this will be a record breaker. However, it's only sev about 7 feet under the height of Let Coaster at Legendia. Now, Obviously, it would be interesting to see if this is a clone of the Let Coaster. However, I think it could be a, a custom Vekoma Bermuda Blitz. And obviously, you know, you've got to remember, there's only one of these Bermuda Blitzes out there right now, uh, which is, of course, Let Coaster. Uh, but maybe they go for a different concept. Maybe they go for a, a, a different concept altogether. And uh, potentially, maybe, they could, they, could, they could go for something a little bit different, uh, but sort of possesses the the thrill level of a let coaster. So, obviously, from the height and from the the name, I think the name will deliver some fantastic theming. I think we're looking here at a wonderful thrill coaster, not really a family coaster. We're looking here at a thrill coaster, and I think this is going to be fan dabby doozy. So there we are, ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Six of All Ages. That is looking at Farup Summerland's brand new roller coaster for 2022, Woodland. We've officially changed the name on the playlist, so at the end of the video, go and check out the playlist. Uh, we've, got the, we've got a couple of updates already from this coaster. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, this is going to be brilliant. I can guarantee you guys one thing. I expect theming. I expect greatness i expect vacoma to do themselves justice with this one i think this is going to be a wonderful project i think this is going to be an amazing amazing roller coaster to experience in europe and i think that 
hopefully, fingers crossed, we can uh, get out there to Farouk Summerland and experience this in the future. Because uh, Farouk Summerland's been an underrated theme park that I've always wanted to go and try out for a good few years now. And, you know, they've introduced this brand new kids ride, this tractor ride this year. Obviously, they introduced uh, Savin, their family boomerang, not too long ago. So, obviously, you know, this park is growing steadily and steadily. And this is going to be the big signature project, in my opinion. Unless I'm mistaken, this is the big signature project for Fire Up Summerland right now. Uh, so, Vekoma are going to do themselves justice. The theming level on this is going to be great. I can just, I can just imagine it. And Woodland will open in 2022 at the theme park. So please stay tuned for more updates on Woodland at Far Up Summerland. <music> Fastest and highest roller coaster Phoenix will open at Far Up Summerland in 2022. A massive new roller coaster will rise from the forest floor and the ashes of Corona by April 2022. Phoenix will rise 40 meters into the air and extend majestically into the forest in Denmark's longest loop ride. Phoenix will be the undisputed fastest bird on any Danish forest with a top speed of 95 kilometers an hour. That's a decent speed. So, in terms of statistics for this ride, uh, we have a 40 meter height. Now, for those of you who need uh, a bit, uh, those of you who are not as good as maths, uh, well, not as good as maths. I mean, trust me, I'm, I'm terrible at maths. For those of you who want to know what what 40 meters is, that's 131 feet. That's just over 131 feet. That's unbelievable. Uh, we have a top, top speed of 95 kilometers an hour and a length of 900 uh, and five meters in track. Now, this coaster will feature the world's first stall loop. So Phoenix will be the first coaster in the world to feature a stall loop, a spectacular world first element combining the all time favorite classic looping with the inverted stall into one unique element. In this new element, the train is forced by an overhead position by half a loop followed by an inverted camelback where the riders experience a period of 2.5 seconds of weightlessness before entering the second half of the loop combined with a twist. Now, Phoenix will be the first roller coaster in Scandinavia to offer the most so-called airtime, which is a sensation of weightlessness you get when the body is expected uh, or exposed to zero gravity. With a total of 14 airtime moments, such as drops, loops, and twists, you'll get the sensation of weightlessness for a full 9.2 seconds of airtime. Uh, so, in terms of technical uh, specifications, uh, we have uh, a vertical 80 degree descent or a near vertical 80 degree descent. Um, we have the station fly through corkscrew. We have uh, a two trenches with 2.5 meter dives in them. Uh, we also have an upward zero G. In terms of the trains, we've got 900 guests per hour capacity, two vehicles on the track, flexible vests. And uh, yeah, this is going to be absolutely unbelievable. So, I mean, looking at the layout, uh, which you can see on your screen right about now, Fandabi Dozy, that is the layout look. And as you can see there, you've got these, uh, all the specific elements, the near vertical descent, the world's first stall loop, the, the, the speed, the first drop, 40 meters straight down, the station fly through corkscrew, which I think is going to be a, a wonderful element to the ride. And I think that it's going to be uh, an overall amazing uh, attraction. I feel like 
you know, Phoenix has got this place uh, in the European Coastal community where I feel like it's going to be a very underrated addition, in my opinion. So let me talk through now my thoughts on what I think uh, of Phoenix at Barrett Summerland. So there we are, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seekers of all ages. That is speaking about Phoenix at Barrow Summerland for 2022. The tallest, longest, fastest coaster in Denmark uh, with the world's first stall loop, a station fly through corkscrew, a near vertical descent, a top speed of 95 kilometers an hour, the most airtime on a Scandinavian roller coaster, 14 airtime moments. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. I cannot wait for this ride experience to open. You know, I think most of us were expecting like a near enough a clone to let coaster, and I think technically the model is still of a Coma Bermuda Blitz. Um, I believe this is higher than uh, let coaster. I believe this is higher than let coaster. Uh, like I said, it is, it, is, it is the fastest, tallest, longest coaster in Denmark. It's got the most airtime in Scandinavia. It's got the world's first inversion with the stall loop. I mean, they've, they've conjured up this amazing coaster. I'd be very interested to know what the price tag is for this coaster because if it's anywhere around 10 million, that is a bargain for this type of, type of coaster layout. That's a bargain for this coaster. Uh, obviously, the name is Phoenix. Do I like the name? Is, is it very original? I think because there's loads of other coasts out there with the name Phoenix, it's not as original as other choices. But do I like the name? Yes, I like the name, especially with the, the branding they're going for this and the, and the kind of um, logo they're coming up for this. I think it looks very Game of thrones with the with the writing, with the font style. It's very Game of thrones -y, which, you know, I like that. I think that's a great move for them. So, uh, overall... I'm a huge fan of this, and I think everyone out there should be fans of this as well. So as seen by a couple of different images here, the construction's really picked up the pace. I would say it's nearly halfway there, pretty much. And I would believe that they've not got long to go with the rest of it, and that gets me excited, especially with the potential of what kind of theming items are going to be around and what kind of landscaping items are going to be around. Now, the lift till was almost topped off back on Wednesday last week. However, we have this video from Far Up Summerland officially saying it's been topped off. Now, I'm sorry if you can't understand Danish, but for all you Danish viewers, you shouldn't have a problem understanding the video that I'm about to play. This is from Far Up Summerland social media, and here it is. I'm here. We took a tour here up on uh, top of Phoenix. Yes, and today we found the same thing we call Top Hat here on Hotel. So we came really far with the same thing. Så jeg kan godt love, at det er en virkelig fantastisk hotel, man har heroppefra, og øh, her kigger vi ned på den første tur på den banen, og det bliver helt sikkert en helt øh, fantastisk tur, man kan vente sig, når vi kommer til den 9. april i 2022. Så øh, en hilsen herfra, og glæd jer til at komme på Phoenix. Ha' det godt. Hej. For those of you who haven't seen the statistics or facts about this upcoming coaster, this has a length of 2,969.2 feet, a height of 131.2 feet, a speed of 59 miles per hour, three inversions and 14 airtime points slash moments. This will be built by Vekoma. It's described as a Wildcat model on the Rollercoaster database and I believe this is going to open an under construction theme park project that was shelved in Bosnia and Hernangoza. Now this may be true or untrue, however uh, there was specifically rumours in the past that this was a relocation of the project from the Bosnia Park, the Bosnia Magicland Park. Now I'm going to share my thoughts on the latest construction of Phoenix at Faro Summerland and how excited I am about this fire-breathing coaster. There we are, ladies and gentlemen, thrill six of all ages. That is speaking about the brand new Phoenix at Faro Summerland. The latest construction, it really has seemed to have picked up the pace here, as you could tell. Now, obviously, with the lift hill being topped off and with about around half of the layout being done, I would suggest it will not take long to get the rest of the layout done and dusted, and they can get started working up and theming this coaster 
to the best of their ability because I'm sure that is the plan. Now obviously this is in my opinion one of the most significant developments in the history of the theme park of Far Up Summerland and I feel like Phoenix will be a significant milestone as the next signature roller coaster in the theme park for the thrill seeks especially and um, it's going to provide a generational it's going to be a generational landmark and what I mean by that is I feel like there's going to be future generations coming up to Phoenix and riding this coaster for the first time a lot of different generations coming to ride this for the first time and I really can't wait I really really can't wait for this and me personally next year I mean I mean, I, I've told you guys in the past on this channel, you know, my university abroad visit was called off because of COVID, and I've said all the time, I need to go out abroad at some point next year. I actually think Denmark's probably the place I'm going to go, because that way I can get De Jure Summerland, I can get Far Up Summerland, and I can get Bakken in there as well, as some sort of Danish mega trip. Uh, so if you do want to see me do a Danish mega trip next year, comment down below. Let's start, let's start from the beginning, shall we? What made you want to come up with the idea of Phoenix? What gave you the inspiration to call with this brand new signature roller coaster for 2022? For, for actually some, some years, it's uh, been an idea to bring in an iconic attraction to, to Far Up Summerland to make sure we step uh, or stay ahead of the game and in the game uh, in, in the ongoing competition of attracting uh, various guests to the to the park and uh, we've had a long and uh, very successful history with uh, Vekoma uh, they built our mine train in 92 and uh, the suspended coaster in 2003 and latest uh, they they built the boomerang coaster in uh, in 2020 so uh, we've had a super uh, good cooperation and a good partnership and it was pretty obvious that uh, we should try to do something together. And uh, then uh, they brought the, the layout up for, 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 for what's now called, called uh, Phoenix. And uh, we were not in doubt, and we are not in doubt that it's a great addition to the park uh, that will uh, yeah, help attract guests from both Denmark, but also from the yeah, entire Scandinavia and uh, Northern Europe. So yeah, really excited. Yeah, it definitely sounds exciting. And obviously the manufacturer of this coaster is the brilliant Vacoma who have really been innovating their coaster designs over the last few years from the original prototypes. I mean, why choose Vacoma? Why was Vacoma the standout manufacturer? And was there any other manufacturers that you were considering before Vacoma was the ultimate choice? You ask if there was other manufacturers in, in the picture. Uh, uh, obviously yes, because in in any case uh, it's it's really important to uh, to browse the market to see okay what could the alternatives uh, be. So uh, that that that's how we do in in any coaster project. You could see uh, you could say that uh, we of course look to into different opportunities, um, but for for different reasons uh, and not. Uh, least uh, also the you know the layout and all the unique features we we see with uh, with Phoenix uh, the the station drive through Denmark's highest and uh, the world's uh, first real stall loop also being part of this uh, this coaster that was part of uh, yeah us deciding okay it has to be this uh, this project because it it fulfills uh, so many purposes and uh, yeah brings so much iconic value uh, to uh, to a coaster experience, uh, at least in our opinion. So, yeah. Yeah, 100%. And, you know, obviously the construction of the ride's been happening over the last few months. It's been a very rapid process compared to other coaster projects that have been constructed. You know, how pleased are you with how smooth the construction process has gone? Considering it's uh, a coaster founded on uh, yeah 170 foundations carrying this uh, this coaster, uh, then it's quite amazing that we started uh, groundworks in February and now it's uh, late November and uh, all the foundations have have been done and uh, the track has been assembled and the track is actually complete today. So it's been a super smooth process and uh, that, that's due to, you know, great partnership, not only with uh, Recoma, but also with RCS assembling the track and also the construction company, Venelust, uh, 
a local uh, uh, partner. We, we, we have taken care of both the buildings and uh, the foundation and groundworks. Uh, it, it's been uh, super smooth and uh, lucky enough for us. We, we, we haven't seen any big uh, hiccups uh, along the way. Yeah, 100%. And it's great for the part there was no real massive hiccups during the construction process. Now, the name Phoenix, what yeah. made you come to the decision about the name Phoenix? Because obviously there's a lot of coasts out there that are called Phoenix. What sort of made Phoenix stand out for you and why did you decide to go with that name? Uh, in the park, we already carry bird names for some of our, our rides. Uh, we have uh, Felton or uh, wooden coaster and uh, we have uh, other examples also across the, the park uh, and then uh, you know uh, phoenix is is more like an imaginary uh, bird but what really made us uh, choose phoenix and and why it was uh, super obvious is that also considering the period we've been through now with the uh, covid19 and all the obstructions we've been through and also for us in 2020, a, a decrease in, in guest numbers. Uh, we, we kind of, you know, come up from the ashes and now and uh, uh, yeah, choose to move on with uh, investing in and building uh, Phoenix, despite it's been uh, tough times for us as a park. So, so, so for, for those two reasons, both uh, staying within uh, using the, the bird names and also uh, the symbolic uh, thing about, uh, you know, us, trying to uh, take a, a big step up uh, with our park and uh, uh, and hopefully we will see uh, uh, an increase in the number of, of, uh, of guests uh, coming to the park. Absolutely. And I, and I love the, I love the, you know, the story behind the name and I love the sound of that, that, you know, coming up from the ashes and also linking to the bird of prey. I love it. Um, so talking about then the theming level, you know, enthusiasts are going to be really excited about how much theming could be on this coaster. What can we expect from the level of theming and what kind of theming we're expecting to see on opening day? Um, to, to also, you know, to match the DNA of the park and uh, to, to do what we, we think we're good at. Uh, first of all, it will be nicely connected to the forest feeling. Uh, so, uh, uh, the construction company and everyone else that has worked around uh, the construction site knows that uh, we take care in every single tree. So every tree, tree we have been able to uh, to keep, it, it's been kept. Uh, so uh, you're going to get a nice uh, forest feeling around the, uh, the, the rides, first of all. And then secondly, we are working with different uh, effects uh, and uh, uh, elements and, and theming elements where we, uh, of course, uh, put efforts into to theming the, the station building. Uh, I can reveal that we're going to do some uh, some some big banners that's going to be part of you know uh, filling out this uh, this huge room where you have the the fly through of the the station, and um, and then we try to, to to tie the theming of course to the the Phoenix uh, story. So. Uh, I'm not yet ready to uh, reveal all the, all the, the details, but uh, it, it's going to be a nice mix, you know, with this forest feeling and then uh, some uh, some some elements uh, connecting to the, the Phoenix story. Hundred percent, and I'm really excited to uh, to see all of that on opening day, and you know, hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll be able to get to the park for the opening of this coast, uh, if not the the media yep. day. Fingers <laughs> crossed. <laughs> yeah. Um, finally then, so I was moving aside from Phoenix and talking about the future, because as you said, Phoenix is like the signature attraction, it's the, the step up for Fire Up Summerland. Any teasers actually on any future projects or what we'd like to see come to the park? It's not a secret that uh, accommodation has been a, a great success for our park with our hotel, so that's absolutely an area of uh, of interest and uh, and secondly yeah we 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 have uh, loads of uh, ideas and uh, and things we want to uh, yeah make make come alive uh, in 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 the coming years so uh, i can't exactly tell you what what we have uh, in our minds but uh, uh, we also have great plants uh, beyond uh, beyond phoenix because 
a park like Forbes Summerland and maybe any park, uh, it, it's really a matter of uh, ensuring that uh, we, we develop uh, the different experiences and uh, we have to come up with something new every year. And uh, we're going to stick to that plan that, uh, yeah, of course, we're going to have uh, also uh, new activities coming in, uh, in, in in the coming years. Yeah.